Hello and welcome to video number three in the trilogy of finding my perfect Linux laptop. If you saw uh, episode, episode? Hmm, are we a magazine program all of, all of a sudden? If you saw video one or video two, or preferably both, you will have seen that I chose my um, Linux laptop as being the Dell uh, XPS 9560 and I installed uh, Linux on it and this is my um, responses to some of the questions that came in video one and video two. Uh, this is what I promised in the last episode and this will be, I think, the very last episode. Um, I've been using it for about 10 months now or something like that. Maybe it's not, maybe it's eight months. But um, I think I will have covered by the end of this video pretty much most of the things that um, I need to cover on this. So these are the questions, or these are some of the questions. What I'm going to do is the, quest the responses to these questions first, and then I'm going to cover some of the changes that I did um, based on some of these responses. So the first one I've got is from Haider TV. Now he, uh, he replied um, to uh, one of the one of the episodes. I don't know. I don't know which one. But this was about a month ago, and he said, um, "What kind of Linux do you install?" Because I tried to install Ubuntu 16 on my XPS 15, but the option install Ubuntu along with Windows does not appear. Well, um, if you saw episode two, I you will have found that I chose Fedora, and I chose Fedora for entirely my own reasons. Uh, I don't expect you to to have chosen Fedora, um, but it's perfectly a good choice if you did. Um, so Ubuntu. Um, yeah, that will work because that's the way Ubuntu is the one that Dell support. It's the distro that they support on the XPS um, 13 and 15. Um, but as for installing Ubuntu along Windows, well, don't know, didn't do it. Trashed Windows completely, uh, put Fedora on uh, out of the box. And I would strongly advise that if you don't have one specific bit of software that you absolutely must have Windows for, get rid of it. You don't need it. Linux is so much better than it used to be a few years ago on a desktop or a laptop. So give it a go on its own. So the second one is from Constantine uh, Alexandru, and he said, thank you. Uh, good to have found such a comprehensive review. Well, I appreciate it greatly. Um, my only two problems with mine, the FHD model, which is I presume it's the, it's the version that I've got, which is the 4K um, display, uh, are coil wine and slight backlight bleeding which is quite worrying, but I decided to live with them since everything else is nice. I had to replace the CPU fan twice as it started to produce a grinding noise. Still a very good laptop. Have you encountered these issues? Well, Constantine, no, I haven't. And quite frankly, if I had those issues, they would have gone straight back um, because I think you've got a duff a machine there. Um, you don't, for the amount of money that you that I, I spent, 700 pounds, uh, UK pounds, um, I would not have expected having to do any of this work uh, I'd expect it to be perfect, even though I spent uh, less than I would have on this on the spec by buying it as certified uh, refurbished, I still would not have accepted a laptop with any of these issues. Um, you know, backlight bleeding, replacing CPU fans, coil no. You should have taken that back, I think. You should have sent that back to where you bought it from because uh, in, my, in my estimation, it's not of merchantable quality and therefore you should not have accepted it. So uh, on to Daniel now. So Daniel Kang, about, uh, um, he basically said, where did you buy certified refurbished and is the battery life worse? Well, I bought ba certified refurbished, the only place you can buy certified refurbished and that's through the Dell certified refurbished website which I will post here and in the in the comments section on this video I've already posted it on in um, in episode in episode one um, is the battery life any worse no because that's the beauty of a certified refurbished you can buy there's, there's very many um, companies who will refurb um, machines and send them out but they're not certified by the manufacturer this one is a vendor certified um, supplied machine it's imperceptible from a new machine. The battery life is identical. In fact, I, I mean, this, there's, there's various reasons why somebody could have returned this machine or, um, and it had to be re re uh, recertified, but it might not have even re been returned. It might've been that the box would been, had been damaged and it became a, ref a refurb machine. Um, the various reasons, it certainly does not show in the actual product. The product is new. I bought it as 
essentially a new product, but I saved about 400, 450 pounds on buying a brand new product. So no difference, no battery life is not worse. It's, it's, I will certainly buy a certified refurb from now on because, you know, because I, I work hard for my money, basically. Um, Tech Rage is in the next one. Tech Rage, he wanted to know the website who bought this on. Well, a bit like Daniel, um, it's the Dell certified website. Uh, the one I bought was from the European one, uh, European Dell site, but wherever you are in the world, they'll have, they'll have one local to you probably. Um, again, URL is here or in the comments section. That's where I bought it from. So, uh, Pierre, apologies for the, um, the linguistic ability here. Piero Loza Palma, or Piero Loza Palma, what is your perspective with the Dell 7577? Maybe it's the same as the XPS 15, just a little more big. Well, um, so the, the Dell 7577, from what I know, from what I found out, is a fairly new, uh, it's newer than the XPS 15 uh, gaming machine. Um, and it's probably the specs seem to be much better than the um, the XPS 15, but it's not the build quality isn't as good. Uh, my so the 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 XPS 15 9560 is built like a tank. Um, this is very more plasticky from what I've read. But um, other than that, I can't give you any other really review because it does not meet my criteria. It is not certified to run Linux. By the vendor which the xps 15 was so that's the one i chose so sorry i can't give you any more information on that but um by all accounts it, the 7577 inspiron does seem like a good pc if you're looking a uh, laptop if you're looking for a windows based machine and finally uh, in this section uh, andre ponomarenko i hope i've got that right andre please share the hardware probe of this laptop and he's um he's given me a link um using uh, a docker um, uh, container um, if I get this working if I have time to get this working I probably won't post it in the video I'll probably post it in the link that um, is on is onto my blog um, so there you go Andre um, that's that'll be the where the, the hardware probe for the laptop is okay so the last set of comment responses to comments are based on the thing that I said in the part two of the video, which I said was battery life wasn't anything to write home about. It was a bit poor. And um, I said that if I ran a 4K video from YouTube with the battery um, on, fully charged, and um, just let it go, it would run out of battery in about three and a quarter hours or something like that. Um, and I said, mm, this is probably not great. Well, 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 a number of people, and these are the people, and there's probably some more than these as well, if I forgive you, forgive me if I, if I leave out your name, but, uh, and again, bad pronunciation, um, sorry, apologies, Korek Stovek, and uh, the Neki 228, and Joshua Turgeon, and Andrei Ponomarenko, apologies again, pronunciation uh, there's probably like I say there's probably some other people but they all they all came up with uh, answers and responses which tried to address my battery life problem and invariably the answer was get rid of Nouveau and get onto Bumblebee and the Nvidia drivers um, and oh, this was so hard for me because I really really desperately wanted to have a vanilla installed Linux machine with the minimal amount of tweaking. I wanted to, I basically wanted to say, show everybody how good a Linux des desktop, or in this case laptop, could be in 2017, 2018. You know, the last time I'd used them was about six or seven years beforehand, and they were not great. You know, they were usable, but that's about it. But these, are, this is so much better. So I wanted to stick, you know, with what Fedora was providing me on the DVD or the download but they were promising me that if I went to Bumblebee and used Bumblebee and the Nvidia driver and ditched Nuvo um, some great battery gains um, from three and a quarter to maybe five hours possibly um, so I thought about it and ultimately I 
decided that I was going to try it. Um, and that's what I did. And quite frankly, I'm so glad I did because I am now getting a really long time. Certainly, I can't say five hours, but I'm certainly getting four and a half, four, possibly four and three quarter hours uh, of battery life. It, it means that I now don't, I'm not tethered um, to the power cable. It's not like the laptop equivalent of range anxiety on an electric car when I'm constantly looking down to see, oh, battery, oh, battery, oh, battery. Not now. I can sit downstairs. Um, I can do an evening's worth of work and not have to worry about that. So I will put the instructions um, on where I found the specific Fedora Bumblebee instructions. But there's other people have put in the comments there are generic stuff for different lit distros that will work just as well uh, for your distro. And, um, and yeah, that, so that's the change that I made since part two. I went with Bumblebee and, um, and my life is now complete. Uh, so this is the final part of the trilogy of finding me my perfect Linux laptop. And I have, and it's called an XPS 15 2017 model. And I love it. And I don't regret buy, not buying a MacBook Pro. And if you want one, buy one because this is the best one. This is the best model, I am convinced of it, for running Linux. And also there was a few people who said they were having problems dual booting uh, Linux uh, and Windows on this particular model of laptop. Well, you know, it is liberating if you just get rid of Windows. Just get rid of Windows, just put Linux on there, your life will be so much better. And uh, if there's any final thought on this trilogy of, of videos, do it, buy this laptop, put Linux on it, don't put Windows on it, get rid of, rid of Windows, and your life will be so much better. And I, although I can't guarantee that, um, <laughs> I can I'm pretty much think that that is what's going to happen. Uh, okay, well, um, I hope you've enjoyed the, the three in order, and, um, and this one in particular. Uh, like and subscribe, as always, because you know how YouTube works, and uh, I'll come up with some more content uh, when I can think about it. Oh, failing that, you can, uh, you can suggest some stuff that I should cover next time. Okay, bye everyone.